Good morning. Today we're here at Sam's Club. We're going to go in and check out some of the prices, some of the things you guys have asked about, look around, do a little bit of shopping, see if we can find some good things to stock up on. Let's get to it. Okay, since we come into Sam's Club here, I notice they have these hot cocoa and treats serving set. Comes with the hot cocoa, $24.98 for this set here, but you get four ceramic mugs, pumpkin spice pretzels, little ghost marshmallow things there. That's pretty awesome. Actually have a little discount on this milk chocolate bark here. Pretty cool, $14.98, regular price, $12.43 on sale. Comes with a little mallet here, so you can you can wear yourself out breaking up the chocolate, and then you can eat the chocolate, get more wired up to break up some more chocolate. They have a whole assortment here of giant pumpkins. They are $5.98 though, which is kind of surprising. They're usually a little cheaper here at Sam's Club, but I did see these at Kroger yesterday on sale for $3.99 on a digital coupon, but they're only $5 regular price, and they're about the same size pumpkins. Boy, Sam's Club is wasting no time here. It is October 5th, 2023, and they are already rolling out all of the different Christmas stuff. Boy, that is, look at that. That is pretty cool. Got the Grinch trying to take the tree there. $169 for that. Oof. A giant nutcracker right here. $79 for that one, $80. Check this out. These things are so big, I can't even really get it in full frame here. Look at this. That is $169 for that, but these are gorgeous. Look at this. $159.98 for this one. It's uh, pretty pricey, but it is awesome looking. Seeing all that Christmas stuff there. Kind of made me, th I was about to say last minute chance for uh, Halloween costumes. We're still almost a month away from Halloween. Uh, they do have plenty of Halloween costumes here. Looks like they're a little pricey. Let's see, they got the princess gowns for $40. I don't know how, I mean, these would be way cheaper at Walmart, but I will say the quality here, it might be the same one as Walmart. I wonder if they're the same price. I don't really know, but that Batman one looks pretty good. You got Iron Man, Captain America. Again, though, I don't know. I mean, I know everything's going up. We know food has gone through the roof, which we're going to go into here in just a couple minutes. I wanted to check out some of the different holiday items here at Sam's Club, though. I wonder how much that is. Gonna have a price on there no price so i don't know we just got a guess i guess okay so i found these gamer costumes these costumes from halo if you play halo this is the master chief costume it's actually pretty cool looking 24.98 for that so i guess the ones on the other side it's disney disney's always a little more expensive of course i got the superhero costumes here as well 24.98 so you can be spider-man captain america iron man the whole gang here. You get all your buddies together, you can go as the entire Avengers. Got these ceramic bowls here that go in the cat's mouth or the pirate's mouth there. $19.98 for that. Look at this airblown dragon. $189.98. Yeah, sure, okay. That is pretty expensive, but I bet this thing's pretty huge. 13 and a half feet wide. So from here to here, I assume that's 13 and a half feet. Doesn't say how tall it is though. But, I mean, it looks pretty tall. I don't know, though. $190. Oof. I mean, if I was going to spend that, I'd get the Grinch in the tree. I'll tell you what. I remember Sam's Club last year. Their uh, Christmas stuff coming out pretty early. I don't remember it coming out this early. They already got their four-pack of shortbread cookies here. Which, I guess, you know, in a way, can be all seasons. These are very good, though. Um, $15.98 for these. Get a four-pack of them. Good holiday uh, maybe a Christmas idea, you know. Right here, we have the European chocolate cookies here. These are absolutely amazing. Price went up on them, though. So $15.98 this year. They were $14.98 last year. But these are some really good cookies. Do got to be careful, though. I do believe there's some coconut in some of these, and I am allergic to coconut, so got to be careful with that. Actually, I, I don't remember. I know it should say... Um, no, maybe they don't. Okay. Maybe this was the one we were talking about that didn't have the, uh, does that drive people nuts when you see stuff upside down? I know that drives me crazy. Sometimes I do it off camera. Sometimes I do it on camera, but just want to show anybody out there with 
uh, OCD like myself, <laughs> I uh, flip that around here for you. We also have the Selection Lemire Pollard. Uh, these are the French butter cookies for $12.98. They've got their Jacobson's butter cookies back in here. I don't remember them having these last year. These are delicious. I mean, they're, you know, they're just the butter cookies, but you get this nice tin here, and it is huge. It is completely full of these cookies here. $14.98. That is the same price as what it was a couple years ago, but I didn't see them here last year. They have all their Christmas ribbons here, $7.98 for these, but let me tell you something. Okay, so me and Jessica usually get a couple of these. Um, we've been using the same ones for like two or three years. Like, we, you get so much for $8, it is crazy. You will use it for a couple Christmases, depending on how much you use, you know. But they do got some cool ones. I think we actually have this one, Gnome for the Holidays. Not going to go over all of the different Halloween candy they have here today. Um, but I will say some of their prices I can already see are better than a lot of other grocery stores. It's 155 count of the factory favorites here. I've seen this uh, bag that's less. Like I think it was 130 pieces I sold somewhere. I don't know if it was at Kroger, but it was for $22 and less pieces. So not a huge savings on this, but you do always save a little bit on these things at Sam's Club. Okay, now we're moving on to some of the different meats, and we're going to go over some produce and stuff like that here. Chicken breast has come down uh, 30 cents a pound. That's pretty awesome. $2.98 a pound was the price the last time I was here. $2.68 a pound now. It's a good deal. So this Sam's Club does kind of struggle to get in different, like, pies and stuff. M mostly, I think, because they, it, they seem to have some employee shortages here at this Sam's Club I come to. I will say, though, that this apple pie right here, guys, that is fantastic. I'm not even worried that it came up way in price. This was $9.98 regular price, but usually around this time of year, it's usually $8.98 on sale. So I'm not going to get one today, although I probably should. Look at that. Probably one of the best apple pies I've ever had. They do also have the giant pumpkin pies here, and I got to say, they're pretty darn good, too. $6.98 for that, only $7. Oh, wait, no. Look at that. $5.98. $5.98. As a matter of fact, let me check the sticker here. Yeah, $10.98 still. So, yeah, up a dollar from what it was last year. But, guys, I'm telling you, it's even at $11. I'm not surprised with ingredients and everything else going up in price. Not surprised to see this go up, but that's fantastic. Yeah, they got their hoagie buns back in. It's good to see. Our Sam's Club is usually out of these. So, I don't know if I'm just lucky in here early. $6.98 though, that is up a dollar from what they used to be. Chuck Roast is $5.98 a pound now here at Sam's Club. So for a regular price, that's not too bad. Usually regular price price at Kroger is $7.99 for Chuck Roast and then uh, $7.69 a pound at Meyer. So to have that at that price, regular price is okay. They did have this at Kroger last week for $4.98 a pound, but they got their stew meat here. It's already cut up for you, five twenty-eight a pound. We've been seeing this as high as eight dollars a pound. We've been seeing a lot of price increases on meat lately here, so we're definitely going to check out a lot more of these products today. So, although these prices are high, boy, I'll tell you what—they've been getting really high at like Kroger and other main supermarkets, grocery stores. Uh, Thirteen forty-eight a pound still for the choice ribeye here. However. $15.99 a pound regular price at a lot of other stores right now and that's not even the good stuff this is the good stuff um, we got New York strip steaks $11.98 a pound regular price $14.99 a pound regular price at Meyer. they do have one that is $13.99 a pound regular price um, it's a little confusing because I, I don't know if they just had the same sticker at Meyer or what was going on but they looked exactly the same this is the good stuff here though $11.98 a pound regular price yeah, they got these brownies back in that everybody seems to like. Uh, they're okay. Um, you do get a ton of them. It is a 48 count for $9.92. Haven't seen them here at our Sam's Club in a while. Uh, they were $8.98, but that was a while. Wow, that's probably been about a year. It's been $9.92 probably for about a year. Look at this madness. Gourmet fudge here. We got chocolate, peanut butter, peanut butter chocolate, chocolate walnut. That is a 30-ounce container 
of what looks to be some pretty awesome fudge. I've never had the fudge here at Sam's Club. Let me know down below if you have. It is $16.98 for that, but 30 ounces, that's a lot of fudge. Lots of their bakery items are coming back in here. Maybe they, they got some new employees here. It's good to see. Uh, no kidding. I mean, it seems like every time I've been here over the last, like, six months, there's but these have been sold out. I can only assume that um, either they're just getting more in, they're able to make more. These French baguettes, these are fantastic. These are really good. Five ninety eight, dollars um, but you get two of them, so they are really good, I gotta say. Looks like the gourmet brownie tray has made a comeback. Boy, I probably should have probably should have ate breakfast before I came here. Look at this. Oh my goodness. Oh, I try to stay away from a lot of this stuff. Boy, it is hard. Now, really, I mean, this has gone up 50 cents. This was $17.98. Uh, the last time I saw these here, $18.44. Um, I gotta say, no, this is really worth it. They've got their pumpkin cake rolls back in, guys. Oh my goodness, look at that, $9. Now I'll tell you what, I uh, I would buy that, but this Saturday, me and Jessica are going to Metamora, Indiana for their canal days. It's like a giant flea market out in Indiana. We love doing that, and there's always a guy that I buy a pumpkin roll off of. They are delicious, a little smaller than this, about the same price, but... I've been buying those off of him for years. We also get these little uh, pie filling cakes, the little pastry, I forget what you call them, but uh, it's like a little little pie wrapped up and it's got like glaze on it. They're delicious. Uh, but yeah, I always get a cake roll from him, so I don't want to get this yet. Probably go through that one and get this one like before Thanksgiving or something. Hopefully they still got them. It is hard to focus on all these other things right now, I gotta admit. <laughs> <laughs> uh, they do still have their chicken drumsticks here for 98 cents a pound. Then they have their chicken wings, $1.98 a pound. This is the place to get chicken wings, guys. $1.98 a pound. That's the cheapest I've seen anywhere. Uh, and their thighs are still $1.28 a pound. Um, and yes, to answer the question, even when you try and look it up, it's hard to find. But I just saw these coming out of Tyson boxes. Just saw them coming out of Tyson boxes. So you can rest assured, everybody who was asking that question months ago, yes, I do believe this is Tyson chicken. I know we have a long time viewer on the channel that loves Genio, so I always like to point this out, the Genio ground turkey. This is the 93% lean. Someone asked uh, a little while back if it was the 93%. It sure is. This is a two pack, two, two and a half pound units, five pounds of ground turkey total for $16.98. You're not gonna find a deal like this anywhere else. Well, I see the hamburger here went back up to $4.18 a pound here. Uh, it was $3.88 a pound. We saw it go back up to, it kind of fluctuates. I, I don't, I'm not sure what's up with that, but $4.18 a pound, still worth it. Great quality hamburger. We do prefer Costco hamburger over Sam's Club, but I gotta be honest with you, it's pretty much the same. Um, you do have to buy a little bit in bulk, but $4.18 a pound for good quality hamburger. It's good. I did want to quickly mention too, for those who don't know, this is 88% ground, not ground beef. I almost said ground sirloin. It's almost ground sirloin. At 90%, it probably would be 12% fat. It's like the perfect ratio where you're not, you're not losing a lot of the hamburger due to the fat, but you got just enough fat in it to make it delicious. So I'm going to tell you right now, I don't think there's been any kind of soup from Members Mark that I haven't liked. I've never tried this shrimp and corn chowder. It's two 24 ounce containers for $10.48. So that's about, that's $5.24 a container. Uh, let me know if you've tried this because shrimp and corn, that sounds fantastic. Not gonna buy it today, but let me know down in the comments if you've tried it and it's any good. They also have the autumn squash soup back in. I know this is a popular one with a lot of our fans on the channel here. Uh, this is two times 32 ounce containers of the autumn squash soup here by Members Mark, $9.98. That's a good deal. I still, I haven't tried this yet, but I'm going to here. I'm gonna wait to do the big shop in here when I have Jessica with me. Um, but yeah, I'm excited to try this one too. I know I point this out in just about every video that we do at Sam's Club here, but this 40 ounce container of the uh, barbecue baked beans with brisket in it, guys. This is my favorite. 
This is absolutely amazing. $8.78, you get 40 ounces. Me and Jessica loves it too, which is awesome. So I'm gonna go ahead and buy this because we will eat this for a few weeks. I mean, we add this a little bit to everything. It is just absolutely delicious. Even just snacking for lunch, which I do sometimes. Sometimes before I go out and do a video for everybody, I'll get a, get a little bowl of this. Good to go. Right below it, we have another awesome product, the 48 ounce containers of their Members Mark potato salad, the loaded potato salad. Guys, fantastic stuff right here. $6.98, this is three pounds, right? I mean, this is bigger than the one thing you're gonna get at Kroger, but I mean, Kroger doesn't even do it like this. This is, this is absolutely amazing. It might be the same size as the one at Kroger, but same price, but guys, this is amazing. This, is, this has so much awesome stuff in it, and it is just absolutely delicious. I know at first glance you might think that this is pretty expensive, and yeah, almost $11, but guys, this right here, this is one and a half pounds of Parmesan. This just isn't like the, the Parmesan you get in like your regular grocery store either. This is like actually shredded, off the brick, fantastic Parmesan. We put this on pizza, we put this on just about everything. Haven't gotten it in a while, again, Something I'm going to wait for, Jessica. Sometimes we can find these on sale here, too. So, probably not. Uh, but even at 1074, it's one of our favorites. And it goes a long way. It's one and a half pounds. It's fantastic. I'm sure some of you were looking above that, though, and saw my favorite olives up here, guys. This is amazing. I love this right here. This is the Greek olive medley pitted. i uh, got the Kalamata olives and the green olives with the spices in there, with oregano, sea salt, and the bay leaf. And the bay leaf's in there to keep it fresh. $7.98 for this, but guys, it's amazing. So I guess the one thing with Sam's Club and their produce is it is consistent. Uh, I will, you know, prices are gonna be about the same or sometimes even more than supermarkets, but one thing we always notice and get comments on at Sam's Club and Costco is the quality. I will say these, these watermelons look fantastic. $6.98, but they look really good and glad that they've kept the prices down on them because we've been hearing these been going up in price since they're coming out of season here. $6.98 though, these are the seedless and they look pretty good. And really, they got the California plums here back in at Sam's Club. They are $7.42 for three and a half pounds. Now we've been seeing them on sale at some places for $1.99 a pound. But I'll tell you what, they haven't looked this good and regular prices are $2.99 a pound at other places. So three and a half pounds for $7.42, that's a good deal. Also, I've been hearing from some people that have been checking out some of the peaches here that these are nice and ripe, uh, that they've been a lot better here at Sam's Club than say Kroger or some other stores. $11.38 for four pounds. Now we've been seeing these for about $2.99 a pound at other places, some places on sale, but They've been like rock solid. Uh, these are good and ripe. Eleven dollars and thirty-eight cents. You do have to buy four pounds, but that's uh, it's not bad. I, you can smell the peaches too. It smells really good. Mayer Brothers uh, is one of my favorite apple ciders. I do like the Blake's Farm apple cider from Meyer. That's probably my favorite. But this is five dollars and ninety-eight cents for a gallon compared to theirs. That is seven ninety-nine a gallon. And guys, this is really good stuff. Three pounds of cotton candy grapes, $13.77. That is a bit much. I mean, we know that they're high pretty much everywhere per pound. That's $4.59 per pound, though. I've seen them in other places for $3.99 a pound. And grapes just continue to go up in price here at Sam's Club. Three pound package uh, makes it $2.19 a pound. But I will say, anytime you get them from here, they're always really good. Well, it didn't used to be, but the price is still the same, $7.88 on the three pounds of green zespri, green kiwi fruit here. $7.88 brings it down to about $2.63 a pound, which we've been seeing this kind of skyrocket in stores lately. I've seen it as high as $3.99 a pound. Now this is the green, right? Now we have the, the gold zespri here, which arguably we get the most comments on, on the channel. Uh, well, not arguably, it is the one we, this seems to be the one everybody likes. $6.98 for two pounds, but I've been seeing this as high as $4.99 a pound, so 
Look at this right here. Oh my goodness. That is some big kiwi. Look at that. Those are huge. Do like I do and just skin the top off and then use a spoon and then just eat it all the way down. It's a good way to do it. I like, I'm going to be honest with you though. I think I actually like the green better. Someone asked if I would check out some of the prices on Members Mark Butter and to see if we had it. I know there, it's hard for, for Sam's Club to get in their own butter sometimes. Uh, they do have the four packs of unsalted here for $12.58. Uh, the four packs. So you get four packs of that makes it $3.15 per pound. Not the best price. We've seen these go up in price, like a dollar, you know, right before summer. Uh, and then they have the salted down here, same price, 12, well, no, 10 cents higher, $12.68 for that, making that $3.17 per pound. Well, I'm not upset. I'm just a little sad. Sam's Club is out of the Flavor Bomb tomatoes. Nuts. I have gotten these before. They're not as good, but they're pretty good. You know, they're okay. But th those flavor bombs, they are called flavor bomb for a reason. Wanted to make sure they were getting sugar here at Sam's Club. They sure are. They got the 10 pound bags. Uh, did go up to $8.64 and the 25 pound bag went up to $20.98. So sugar continues to rise in price due to shortages all around the world, not just around the country, but there's been a lot of sugar shortages. A lot of people have been saying it's it's been over a year, so I'm not surprised that we've been seeing less and less as we go along, but that's, that's probably why the price has gone up so much, supply and demand. I know a few of our viewers on the channel that love using this Blue Diamond Almond Flour here. Just wanted to point out it is on sale. $12.48 down from $13.44, so a little bit off there. This is three pounds the good stuff they do have their brown cane sugar back in here they didn't have this last time i was here seven pounds seven pounds six dollars and 98 cents i mean that is a good deal we just saw where kroger's two pound bag their brand went up to two dollars and 49 cents for a 32 ounce bag so makes this one look pretty good so even on sale at kroger we saw the gold metal five pound bag for four dollars which is pretty good for a supermarket here, you can get 12 pounds of the all-purpose gold metal flour, which is what we usually do here. Much better deal, $7.78. Uh, not bad, not bad. It's a pretty good deal. Glad to see it's still coming in. We've been here, and, uh, and somebody, some people have been sending us some photos from Costco where they've been very low on flour. And actually, I mean, they got plenty here, but usually this is filled up to about here. But hopefully it keeps coming in. Been seeing a lot of sales on gold metal lately, so that kind of tells me that gold metal's not really having an issue yet. We do get a lot of good comments on the Members Mark flower as well. This is 25 pounds for $10.98. That is 44 cents a pound. 44 cents a pound. That is pretty awesome. I like how Sam's Club breaks this down like that. That's pretty awesome. A lot less salt than they had the last time I was here, but we've been hearing again where salt has been kind of flying off the shelves again. Places not being able to get it in as quick. The Morton salt. The more store brands really haven't had an issue yet, but that's usually what we see. We'll see Morton's disappear, and then all of a sudden the store brands will start disappearing, obviously. Uh, but you get four pounds here for a dollar ninety-eight. I mean, that's a great deal, considering it's a dollar fifty-nine now for one of the canisters. Um, yeah. Definitely a lot lower. Uh, we've been getting more comments where a lot of people all across the country has been lower out in some of your stores. So Sam's Club is another option. Somebody the other day was asking me if I knew where to find a good deal on some different bouillon cubes. And they continue to go up in price at like Kroger and some other stores. But look at this. This is 32 ounces of chicken and beef. Uh, $8.98 for the beef and then $8.96 for the chicken. Look at this though. That is a ton I was starting to think they were out of this, but it's just like on an end aisle here, at the end of the aisle, seven pounds of their powdered cane sugar here, confectioner sugar, same thing, $6.98. Just glad to see they got it in. Okay, so I wanted to look at this here. I was walking by and I remembered this name, the Oliveri Avocado Oil. I read in an article that this is one of the ones that they were talking about there was going to be a shortage of. So, looks like they got plenty here at Sam's Club. If this is one that you're having trouble finding, this is $9.94 for one liter. So, for avocado oil, that is like a great deal. Great deal. But yeah, I did read 
it's been it's been a while a couple months ago but this was one of the brands that they were talking about uh, was going to be in short supply so just keep that in mind i know a few few of our longtime viewers few viewers uh like using avocado oil on things so might want to pick up one well if you're looking for hidden valley ranch dressing made by clorox that's right i said made by clorox because it is twelve dollars and 48 cents for two 40 ounce containers of it um i know some people on the channel i know uh, i'm not a big fan of hidden valley ranch and i know some of you out there aren't some people have uh expressed their opinions in the comments uh, but we do have some viewers that absolutely love Hidden Valley Ranch. Uh, Sam's Club is another option. It did go up 50 cents. It was 11.98, now 12.48. But at least I got it in. Somebody left in the comments. It's been a while, but I was passing this here. Reminded me of you here. One of our longtime viewers was saying how much Olive Garden dressing has gone up in price. Yes, it has. Um, 6.49 for one of these bottles in a lot of different stores now. Uh, six forty nine is the regular price at Kroger. You get two of the big ones here for seven ninety eight. So for a dollar fifty more, you get two bottles. So if you have a membership to Sam's Club, this would be the way to go. Okay, so I wanted to take a quick look here at some of the rice. Make sure they were having some coming in. Sam's Club always seems to have it. I know people have been dealing with issues at Costco. I haven't had any comments from Sam's Club, so keep that in mind. This is the Thai Mahali rice here, jasmine rice. Uh, by members mark, this is 25 pounds for $17.98, same price. Basmati rice here, Royal Basmati, 20 pounds, $19.68. This is a little lower than usual, but nothing to be concerned about because there is a ton. And then they have the big, giant 50-pound bags of the long grain rice, uh, enriched rice here, by members mark, $25.98. So, not bad on that. I, I do notice that they haven't had Ben's Original. Um, and then the, the uh, there's another brand. Uh, it's in a big white bag. Let me know down in the comments. That's the tip of my tongue. I just can't think of it. They haven't had that one in a while, though. I will say this. As to where this looks like they have a ton of toilet paper. The last time I he was here, this entire thing was full of toilet paper. So, I don't know if they've just sold it. It's been about a month since I've been here, but... Tell you what, every time I come here, I just go ahead and buy one of these anyway. $22.98 for what you get. It's the best deal around. Okay, so the only reason why I'm really even pointing out Charmin here, uh, this is usually about the amount that they have at our Sam's Club, but somebody did leave a comment the other day that your Sam's Club was completely out of Charmin. So, I don't know. Not too surprised, though, because like I said, this is all they ever really carry, so... It's not, I don't know, the fact that they have it in at all tells me that it's coming in. But we have seen some shortages of toilet paper in some other stores for sure. So if you are one of those people that swear by the Glad Force Flex bags, don't worry. Sam's Club has them. Now we have seen major shortages of these. These are made by Clorox. So Clorox has had all kinds of issues lately. $20.98 for 150 garbage bags is actually a very good deal on Glad. That's a good deal. However, I'm telling you right now, what's an even better deal, and it's the same thing, same thing as Glad. You don't get the, you don't get the gain freshness out of them. But these Power Flex bags, well, no, wait, no, okay. They do have these ones here, the Fresh Clean, and that comes with 200 bags. Wow. Okay, so I don't know. We usually get these ones over here. They're on sale, $16.98. 200 bags 200 of what you might as well they're the power flex so you might as well call them the force flex it's the same thing 16.98 for 200 bags uh we just finished up one i had another box uh this lasted us over a year and a half probably a little more than a year and a half for 200 bags so and that's with me giving away giving away a couple here and there to people and right here we got the tim hortons 100 cured pods for $44.98. We've got Starbucks Pike Place here, 72 count, $39.98. These have dropped a little bit in regular price, probably why we're not seeing any sales on them. Folgers Classic Roast here, 100 count, actually dropped in price. These were $44.48, now $42.48. They were the same price as Tim Hortons, but they have since dropped a little bit. I'm seeing some good sales on the Keurig Pods on Folgers. I know we're getting more and more people on the channel every day. And we have gotten some viewers that really love the pods. Uh, we'll go over the, uh, the ground canisters and how you can save on that here in a minute. They do have the 100 count of original donut shop coffee. This has gone up. This was 
now 46.98 so that has gone up a little bit um, and we're expecting some price increases on coffee here that was one near the top of the list of some different um, things that were going to go up in price and they're saying because of shortages you know it's the same same story of everything we start seeing shortages prices go up it's like you know it stinks but 100 count of the Colombian Supremo 27.98 that pretty much covers all of the different members mark ones 27.98 for the French roast pods uh, and 27.98 for the 100 count of the organic dark roast by members mark breakfast blend same price nine dollars and 98 cents then they have the decaf supreme now you only get 80 here and it's a little less 24.48 but you only get 80 cups got this green mountain this must be popular because they keep selling it they haven't gotten rid of this this green mountain uh, caramel vanilla cream this is 25.98 for a 54 count really one of the only places you can find the Maxwell House Keurig Pods is here at Sam's Club. We have been seeing some of the smaller ones come back in some stores. I believe Meyer is selling them now. Um, but yeah, they've gone away in a lot of stores. But yes, I do think Meyer is selling the smaller ones. We'll have to check. But 100 pods here for $36.28 is not a bad deal at all. Mick Cafe here is $39.98. And then Dunkin' regular price has come down a lot as well. This was right around $42 after being $44 for like a week. I think they made a mistake on the price, but $39.98 for, I believe this is 72 count as well. Of course, they're all facing the wrong direction. Yep, 72 count still. Wanted to check out the Instant Coffee here as well. This is 42 1.2 ounce packets. Um, yeah, 42 packets here. Actually, a little bit of a sale, 50 cents off, $21.98 regular price, $21.48 on sale we begin more and more people want me to check some of the instant roast and stuff here they have the 16 ounce uh for 1048 of this canister 16 ounce now this used to be 9.98 here so it's gone up to 1048 still an okay price when you compare it to some other stores duncan 45 ounces 45 ounces of duncan coffee 21 dollars 98 that is a good deal now, if you are a fan of the Taster's Choice Nescafe coffee here, uh, this might be the place to get it. You are getting double of the biggest one you're going to get in a lot of stores. This is double, 14 ounces instead of seven, $15.92. As to where this is not a huge savings, these keep going up in price. These were $11 for seven ounces at Meyer the other day. I think they're even more at Kroger. But yeah, not a huge savings because it's... Uh, yeah, 15, well, fifteen ninety two. yeah. I mean, you're still saving a few bucks, four, four or five bucks. Moving on to the Folgers canisters here. They have the 40.3 ounce, 40.3 ounces of Folgers Colombian, 100% Colombian coffee, 1446. Same price as it's been for a while, but they have a little bit of a sale on the decaf, 28.8 ounces, 13.48, down from 13.98. So a little bit of a deal. That's the best deal around. Oh, I take that back. Actually, the best deal around is the 43 and a half ounce ground classic roast coffee by Folgers, $11.98. It's like a dollar more at uh, Walmart. It's kind of funny. Maybe a, maybe a little more than a dollar, but they have 48 ounces of the Maxwell House here, $10.98. That's an amazing deal. 32 ounces of Seattle's Best is $12.78. And then we have the, this Organic Estate Blend, which we seem to have a lot of fans of this one here. 30 ounces of the Whole Bean Estate Blend here, $17.98 for that. Then we have the Pike Place Ground and the French Roast Ground, both 40-ounce bags, $21.93. I wanted to check on some of the cleaner products, make sure that uh, we were getting stuff in here. Pine saw, look at this, pine saw everywhere. This is awesome. So this is two 100 ounce bottles of it for $12.48. So if you use pine saw all the time, yeah, it might be worth it to you. Maybe go in with somebody because that is a lot of pine saw, but it's been completely sold out around here in all other stores due to the issue with Clorox right now. Well, that was our trip to Sam's Club. Good to see a lot of the prices staying the same here. We saw a few price increases today. That's to be expected. 
but a lot of the meat prices are the same except for the hamburger the hamburger went up just a little bit uh, we saw the chicken breast come down per pound 268 per pound that was 298 per pound the last time we were here um, and the coffee is still the same price, but good to see that it's not gone up in price. And a lot of the coffee has come down from the regular price of what it was before. The 72 pods of uh, Starbucks was originally around $42, same as Dunkin' Donuts. And then it came down $2. Now it's just under $40. Um, did not see any bleach, no bleach at all. They said they've been selling out of it like crazy here. I did ask somebody, um, no members mark bleach, no Clorox. Uh, surprised to see all the uh, the pine saw though and the uh, the garbage bags the glad garbage bags I didn't think those would be here but they are um, mostly probably because most people are probably getting the power flex garbage bags uh, I'm telling you they're just as good as glad or better and they're cheaper they're even on sale a dollar off 1698 for 200 garbage bags that's an amazing deal uh, I got my got another thing of toilet paper even though we really didn't need it but I like to get it you know just to know that we're getting it before prices go up again because you never know that might be next uh got the uh, baked beans and brisket that's awesome jess will be happy for that one uh and then i got the olives and what else did i get i got some of the apple cider yeah and you know a couple other little things but always try to get some of the things that i know will probably be going up in price especially when i come to sam's club so guys anyway i hope you enjoyed the video today i hope it helps with all that being said, I am out, and always remember the adventure is out.